It's pretty and practical. It serves two purposes. Could be a game changer. The climate here is just too extreme. It will just really complete that space. Is going to make it hard for the guests yes. to leave. Yes. The guest bedroom is located on the ground floor and it has the best views out of all the bedrooms in the whole house as it looks over that gorgeous pool. We've positioned the pool and our fresco area on the northwest corner of the home because that's going to get the most amount of sunlight all year round. As a mum with three young children of my own, I felt that having the fresco so close to the pool was really practical because it means you can entertain in this home in the alfresco area and still keep a watchful eye over the kids. Stage two is where the frames are up, the windows are installed and the power's even turned on. Happy days. I have used louvered windows in my own home and they are great for adding that holiday resort coastal feel and they're excellent for airflow and allowing in lots of natural light. As much as we love the look of bifold doors, we are going to put sliding ones in this house. The climate here is just too extreme. You've got a really cold winter, hot summers and we think it will maximise the usability of that space all year round. There is potential that a buyer may have family come to stay. So a full setup ensuite, robe and guest bedroom downstairs could be a game changer. Sarah and I have lived in homes with a similar layout and we think it's great in a two storey home to have that one bathroom that can service the whole downstairs area but by having two doors, one from the hallway, one from the guest bedroom, it serves two purposes. Access from both sides which seems to be like quite a popular thing these yeah. days, especially on a ground floor for a two-storey. Yes. When reviewing our floor plans, we're always thinking about how we would live in the home. So we've added an additional toilet in the garage, which can be accessed via the pool and the backyard. Every time we build a new home to sell, we learn something new every time. And one of the things we learned from Dream Home One was that when we went to sell it, there were so many people who wanted a pool. And so this time around, we made sure we included one but we found this great fiberglass pool that will slot perfectly between the alfresco and the guest bedroom. We will put glass fencing around the pool so that you can still see into the whole of the backyard area. So we're standing in the pool area, which look at how much sun it's getting. This is actually a corner block. And one of the original plans we had was thinking, oh, we need to, you know, push the house right to the front of the block and have rear access. But what that would have meant was then all of the backyard would have just been west. Now what we've managed to do is push it all to that south side. But then what that's enabled us now is to have all this north sun into this whole back living area and especially the pool area. A little bit of a hot tip here is Heather and I, we like to collect as many different samples as we can. So we try and collect our tiles, our cabinetry and our stone, bring them home, check them out, lay them out together before we make our final selections. The look and feel we want to achieve for our guest ensuite is quite relaxed and calming as the guest bedroom looks directly over the swimming pool and we want it to be a nice place to relax and enjoy. For our guest ensuite, we've selected really earthy natural tones, but we do like to have consistency throughout the home. So our two consistent items are our stone on our vanities and our tapware. We've gone a little bit luxe with the gold and the white stone. We are mixing our tiles up between our bathrooms. So in this ensuite, we've chosen this gorgeous earthy feature tile and to tie in with our cabinetry, we are going to lay it in a stack bond pattern. 
For that coastal look, we're using V-Groove cabinetry and we've chosen white to use in our ensuite because we really want the hero of that space to be the feature tile. And lastly, we've selected this warm, neutral toned tile for the floor. Not only does it tie in beautifully with all our elements in this room, but you'll see this one popping up in other rooms throughout the home. We know the alfresco area is going to be used as an outdoor dining area and we wanted to create an extra seating area. So here's what we're going to do. We're creating this pergola using deco battens. Now we've used the deco battens at my house and at Sarah's house. We love them. They come already painted and because they're made of aluminium, they don't need any maintenance. So no more sanding, no painting. We just install them and they are good to go. I know you love it when I bring you all my Pinterest and Instagram pics and say, hey, can we build this? And you just take my pics and make it happen. Yep. I don't detect any sarcasm in what you just said no, at all. Moving along, I did suggest the deco. Well, we both like the deco, but as a builder, why do you let me use it? Just from a practicality point of view, we decided to use deco again for this project because it came in the same colour as the house. It comes in a variety of different profiles and the carpenters love working with it. All around, it's an easy choice. It's pretty and practical. <laughs> We're using the 150 by 150 battens for our posts and then we're using the 150 by 50 for our battens on the top of the pergola. With this much glass around the pool, we know exactly what you're thinking. It's going to be hard to keep clean. And kids will be kids. They're going to splash, they're going to make a mess, but we've got a solution. We're going to be using the Enduro Shield glass treatment. Now what this does is repels water and it also prevents etching on the glass that can be caused from the salt and chlorine in the pool water. And the best part is the glass stays cleaner for longer in between each clean. or a guest bedroom that is going to make it hard for the guests yes. to leave. Yes, those tiles in the guest ensuite have exceeded my expectations. They're a little bit riskier than what we normally choose, yes. but we kept everything so pared back and so simple. We've got the white vanity with the V-groove in it yeah. and we've got the V-groove on the walls. Yes. The minute you walk into that guest bedroom, you just feel relaxed and peaceful. You can see through those beautiful louvered windows that add that coastal feel straight out to the pool. We said very early on that that room had the best views in the house and it certainly it, does. It has. Having a really good flow and indoor-outdoor connection is super important and so for that reason we have included the stacking doors again. They're a favourite of ours because we can have fly screens on them which is great for the climate that we live in and they're very practical and convenient. Another thing we have done for consistency is use the same floor tile in our alfresco pool area as well as out on our facade. So it is a large area, so we can afford to use a large tile, but to keep it interesting, we've gone large with a narrower, smaller version in between. We've managed to run the same tile from the alfresco area into our pool area and use it as our pool coping as well. Both the cladding exterior and the roof tones are cool colours, so we chose a warm tone to complement on our tiles. We've also used the same lights here from Barnlight Oz as out in the facade. 
For that relaxed coastal feel, we have used the glass livered windows the whole way round. I'm standing in the pergola area and what we have managed to achieve here, we have turned what is normally an eyesore, the neighbour's fence, into this beautiful feature. Low maintenance is really important and Deco Australia products are great for that. Out here it's all about relaxing and enjoying the home with the family and kids. This is one of my favourite designs. We are really going to need to make sure this is going to work. Excellent combination. I just loved it. Pretty and practical.